Toolbox, a graphics program for Mac. In this video, we will go through the basic concepts of Toolbox. Many windows are shown when Toolbox is started and it doesn't look like Photoshop. It's strange, different and not exactly pretty. What is going on? Let's take a closer look at the four main windows in Toolbox. All of them are necessary, so don't close them. The first is the document window, where you construct everything. Constructions are made up of bricks. A brick is a small machine that do simple graphics operations. The second is the output window, where you can see what comes out of a brick. It can show bitmap graphics, vector graphics, and text messages. The third is the inspector window from where you can change the parameters of a brick. The fourth is the palette window, which is used when inserting new bricks into the document window. This was a brief talk about the windows. Now let's talk about some of the interesting bricks. The text brick is one of the most used bricks. It has 19 parameters and can do many things. Now insert a text brick and play around with its parameters. Notice that whenever you change a parameter it's reflected in the output window. The joint brick really shows what Toolbox is about. It's a brick that elegantly takes many inputs and put it together into just a single image. An operation that is difficult in traditional graphics programs. There is a photo brick, but it's not the recommended way to insert photos. Instead open the iPhoto browser by pressing Command P and do a sideways drag. This will insert a photo brick. The edit brick is a mini editor for drawing vector graphics. By doing a double click, you start a new path. Then you drag and click a few times and you have a small vector shape. Also use double click for additional points. Toolbox has many more bricks that we cannot cover in a single video. As you have seen Toolbox is easy to use and extremely powerful. Try Toolbox on your computer and let us know how it can be improved. Thank you for watching.